Okay guys, so we left it off where the zip code, we couldn't add it just whenever we wanted. And also we don't have a way to actually see the form as a web page as opposed to being on the admin. So what we wanna do is, um, first off we wanna actually delete that line. And then we're gonna go into our settings and we're gonna add south. You should have already installed south, but we do wanna have it installed south is Obviously not a new app, it's a, uh, an app that somebody else wrote for us, um, and it's awesome for stuff like this. And make sure you're, you're going into terminal here and then go into the root folder, or manages, so Python manage py, sync database, and south is now installed and it shows it right there. And then you also notice synced south and not synced. So now we have to convert it to south and you need to make sure double check that this uh, model is exactly what we had when we first did that sync database. Because um, when you when, when we're converting it to south, uh, you need to make sure that they're the same, otherwise there will be errors. So we'll do a python manage.py convert to south, oops, underscore south, and we'll do join and not covert but convert and now it's converted it's ready to actually be changed so let's put that zip code in here again um, and we'll do a python managed py schema migration join auto and it created the migration and then now we actually have to migrate it we can just copy this right here and we'll do Python and then enter. And migration's done. Let's just check Python manage.py run server. Jump back into the admin here and go into joins. And we see here zip codes there. It's a required field because it's bold. And the default that we set before at zero is zero. Um, I will actually put a real zip code in there, save it. Okay, great. So this is a basic introduction to South, uh, but every time we want to make changes to the models, you have to make sure that it's ch it's actually managed by South. And the easy way to do that is do a Python manage.py and sync database. And you'll see here that it is not synced when you do that because you have to use migrations. Uh, another way to know is in the actual app itself will show this migrations migration history basically and that's how you do it uh, we will discuss how to kind of reverse things when things go wrong which they do uh, in later videos but for now we have enough to get started on actually building uh, the landing page itself so we will see you in the next one